Well, thanks for sticking with us. We have Craig Stoker from the West Texas Food Bank live in studio. Live, live here live early. Live here, bright and early. I know. Bright Thank you for early. being here. <laughs> Before the sun comes out, we're here. I could, uh, good well, morning, Jason. Not? Great why way not? to wake up, you know? Absolutely. And you have so many exciting things to talk about, especially next week because Restaurant Week. Starts. Permian Basin Restaurant Week, one yeah. of my favorite weeks. I love being able to showcase these local restaurants. We've, we've been slowly releasing the list. We're going to start releasing the menus. Ooh. Check out the Permian Basin Restaurant Week Facebook page. It talks a lot more about the restaurants who are participating. This is the third year we've done it. We've got some favorites who have been with us since the beginning, and we've added some new ones, uh, both in Odessa and a, a good friend of ours in Fort Davis. So really, truly, Permian Basin Restaurant Week, you can find something pretty much to suit your taste of anything. Anywhere, and so what's great about this is that you're helping out by eating, because everyone gets hungry, but more <laughs> importantly, you're helping feed those who are hungry here. Can you talk about the proceeds and kind of that process? So the, the great thing about it is you get to choose one of the nine restaurants. You go in, you've got to ask for the special menu, and it's gonna be a three course, uh, three course deal. And it's either gonna be 35 or $45, so you, you know what you're walking into. And 20% of that is donated back to the West Texas Food Bank. So you're creating meals. Uh, we talk all the time about how $1 can help provide four meals. So, you know, that 20% that can really go a long way. And in the meantime, maybe you get to try a new place. Maybe you get to try something new at a place that you've, you've gone a lot. But it's just a great way to dine out and do good. I love it. And also, too, um, mentioning as well that almost one course or just having one meal can help around 36 people. It's about 36 meals we can provide. Wow, that's incredible. So for that one, one dinner. Meal. I it's, like it. Bring the whole family. <laughs> absolutely. Take friends. Take, you know, one thing I do recommend, a lot of these places will get full. Call, make oh, reservations. Okay. Uh, that's a great opportunity, again, to either try a new restaurant you've been thinking about or revisiting an old favorite and, and trying something new. The, the great thing about these local restaurants is they're able to kind of shift gears and, and provide things on this restaurant week menu that aren't necessarily on the menu. And I, I know a lot of them, uh, you know, they've tried new things and ultimately they end up on their menu. So it's really a good time to, to go visit these chefs and, and, and really experience what they're able to do and at the same time you're helping feed your neighbors absolutely and it's kind of also maybe a great date night experience so they have perfect for date several night. courses too which is fancy can you talk about that right so <laughs> um a lot of them so any one of them you get three courses you're going to get an appetizer you're going to get an entree and you're going to get a dessert mm -hmm. and i know that some of them uh they're offering choices so uh if you're going to one of your favorites again you you you'll get to choose something um if you're trying out something new, you know, I know the Garlic Press in Midland, uh, they're partnering with the Midland Meat Company uh, for a special third course. And the Garlic Press is also offering vegan and vegetarian options. So there's something for everyone. Again, uh, just dine out, do good. You've got to ask for the menu. So not everybody, not everybody's uh, on. You'll get the special menu. All you have to do is order it, and the donation's automatic. You don't have to think about it again, but just know that that, that amazing meal you just had is helping provide provide, you know, maybe the only meal somebody's had all day. Yeah, that's so heartbreaking to think about um, because there are so many people here in West Texas that are constantly going hungry. Can you talk a little bit about the need here well? As well? the need is, it, we live in such an interesting economy that, that, you know, oil is booming. Everybody who wants a job has a job. But the flip side of that is it's expensive to live here. So when you start looking at the cost of living and, and the fact that a one bedroom apartment, the average here is about $1,600 a month. Mm -hmm. um, we, I, I heard uh, on a podcast this weekend, you know, that the cost of living in Midland is 50% higher than anywhere in the state. Wow. Uh, and the counterpoint was made, yeah, but a teacher doesn't make 50% more than teachers in the state. So you really have to look at how much it costs to live here. You've got a huge influx of people coming to take advantage of our economy. We love it. We need it. 
but you may not be thinking that, hey, to rent that apartment, I've got to pay a deposit. I've got to pay my first month's rent. Uh, you've got, you know, maybe moving expenses, and that might leave you a little short. So we're here to provide that extra cushion you might need at the end of the month or the beginning, wherever. If you're just really in a bind, we're here to help. You know, come, going back to school, moms have been buying uniforms and school supplies and, and getting kids, you know, ready to go. You know, fortunately, the kids are back getting breakfast and lunch at school. We've got programs that are able to provide a hot meal after school. We've got programs that are able to provide meals over the weekend. So wow. when you're going out and having this one meal, just think of all the things you're providing to your neighbors that, that may be, you know, a little short this month. Well, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. We also have your contact information as well up on the screen for anyone that wants to get involved. And we're also making sure that we share our restaurants that are becoming available. So stay tuned. We will have those. You can go to WTXFoodBank.org. Thank you so much, Greg, for being here. Thank you.